Norway is so beautiful. Until you realize every mountain in this wow. sequence is AI generated. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Plus, other ways to use AI to speed up your workflow and create incredible results. Let's kick things off with a tool that automatically organizes your files. Firstly, if you don't sort by year, then month, then date, you've got to get it together because otherwise you'll never find any files. I do a ton of shoots and every time I'd finish shooting, I'd have to figure out exactly which day I shot it, select the right clips and make a new individual folder. It's just a pain. Now with a simple prompt and a bit of code, I click once, it groups everything perfectly and all I have to do is drag my file straight to my SSD. If you want to save yourself some hassle, I've actually linked the program for free. Now you might be asking, I don't know how to code, how do I use this program? Well, that's fine. Just ask ChatGPT what you want to code. That's exactly how I made the program. Now I admit I used to be a software engineer, but ChatGPT is a better programmer than I ever was, and the possibilities are endless. Through the same type of prompting, I even made my own program so that I can reply to emails automatically, the email gets sent to ChatGPT, I type what I want to say, and a polished version comes back instantly. Now let's answer an age-old question. Is ChatGPT Pro worth it? For me, I ask it things all the time. I would say yes. Paying for the Pro version also lets you upload files. Let's say for some reason, the app I linked doesn't actually work when you download it, but you can literally upload it, tell ChatGPT what you want to change or why it's broken, and it can give you step-by-step -step instructions on what to fix it or fix it itself. Overall, I think it's worth the investment, but if you really don't want to pay money, you can cycle between AIs like ChatGPT, Claude, and DeepSeek, and that does work fairly well. Now next, everyone should know this trick on how to extend your environment when using something like Adobe AI generation. Basically, you need a video on the tripod, you take a screenshot, generate all around it with Photoshop, cut the moving parts of the image, and voila, you have faked the environment. Now that is great and all, but you end up with these restrictive shots because if your subject moves past the AI generation, their shot looks crap. So let's take this to the next level where your subject can actually move in a generated background. I used artless image to image generation here, wrote a prompt, making sure to use realistic lighting, and I got this cool background. Now, Using DaVinci Resolve, we use the AI Magic Mask 2. Ideally, you cut yourself out and the results suck. Let me show you how to get a clean magic mask. Sometimes all you need to do is tweak these settings, reduce the in and out ratio or shrink the mask and the white outlines are removed. But even still in this video, no matter what I tried, I had white sky stuck between my fingers. To fix this, we make a whole new node next to the magic mask, feed in the alpha output, and I then use a luma qualifier since there is white between my fingers. I make sure it's all selected, invert the mask and then connect the alpha output again. And finally, you get a really clean result. Next, if you like taking photos and videos, you will know how hard it is to multitask. I saw one of the most incredible sunsets of my life, but I simply didn't have enough time to capture it all. That's where the most practical application of video to image generation comes in. I use Archless and by chucking in some photos I took, I get some really good results I can use into an Instagram reel or even a video carousel. Archless has also incorporated Google's VEO3 in the AI video generation as an option. Obviously, you don't have to use Artless to use this, but I'm doing it because it's convenient for me. And let's just say these AI generated results are outstanding. Some simple ideas you can do is turn any photo into a time lapse or create more B roll for YouTube videos. I thought this image would have been challenging, but it created realistic motion on a horse really well. The only caveat here is that videos do look over sharpened, but these clips would be perfect for times where you are filling in the gaps in your story. It's obviously not replacing an FX3 short film. While we are on the topic of art list, their text to image generation is an amazing way to storyboard for a client or even yourself. With some simple prompts, you can plan for shoots, impress clients and set you up for success. Now, up until now, none of this was sponsored. And genuinely, if you pay close attention to my page, I stopped working with art list so I could try some different music providing platforms like Epidemic Sounds or Audio. But after testing these for a few months, they just couldn't compare to Artlist. I have used the music and sound effects for years, but just utilizing these AI features, AI voiceover, and even voice cloning, these have really allowed me to make better content as a creative. Other music platforms don't have any of these AI tools, let alone Artlist continues to give updates and develop these useful AI features. I would highly recommend it, and if you want two months free off your subscription, use my link in the description. Nowadays, AI video transitions are all the rage. Let me show you how to do this properly. The Earth Zoom effect is super popular. Head to Higgsfield and export the last frame you want to zoom out from. Download the video, but let's make some slight tweaks to sell the effect. Firstly, the color correction is slightly off, so pay close attention to the contrast and colors to match it perfectly. Secondly, to really sell the effect, add some zoom so the whole zoom out is more fluid, and there you go. Higgsfield also has a bullet time, which can create an epic orbiting effect out of thin air. To do this, drop a screenshot of the point where you want the bullet time to happen. You can play with a prompt, download the video, and then we duplicate the generated video and reverse it. Select both and create a compound clip, and now I'm using a basic speed ramp to sell the effect. If you pay more money, you can shoot with two cameras and get even better 
better realistic results by providing start and end images, because if you don't, your slow-mo bullet time can look very weird very quickly. A kind of new AI feature that isn't utilized nearly enough is AI voice cloning, and everyone is finally adopting. Initially, people use 11 labs, which cost money, but now Epidemic Sounds allows for this with some extensive checks to make sure you have the rights to the voice. This is what I sound like though, using Epidemic Sounds, and it is not great. With the same audio file, Artlist can do it without annoying checks. You can listen for yourself and decide what's best, but the use cases are endless. Create engaging content, maybe even create courses or audiobooks. If you are too shy to make content, you don't even have to voice it over, you can let AI do it for you with some very accurate results. If you don't want to pay for any of these options, consider downloading Pino Keo and using E2F5 TTS, which can also create some fantastic results. I hope you've taken away a few ways to use AI as a creator to actually boost your workflow and shorten some cumbersome tasks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.